The following is a Tadpole Adaptive Production. Woohoo! Hi, this is Craig with Tadpole Adaptive. Today we're going to be talking about the Alvima Pixie Stroller. The stroller that we have here today is the large extended. With the Pixie, extended means that the seat depth is longer and the back height is taller. Some of the things that we like about the Pixie Stroller are the fact that it's set at a 15 degree seat slope and the back is reclinable. And to recline it, you twist the back handle here and the unit allows it to recline up and down. It goes from a seat angle of 90 degrees about 15 to 20 degrees open. One of the things we like about the Pixie Stroller is the fact that it's a base shell and upholstery system. Meaning that when we remove the upholstery, we have a solid base underneath. A lot of strollers are simply upholstery. Having the shell allows us to put positioning systems on the inside, such as foam, for more support. It has a nice tall six inch sidewall that runs the entire depth of the seat. The footrest is a complete flip back. So to have the child get in and out of the stroller, there's the potential for decent independent transfers in and out of the stroller. With two set screws in the back, the footrest is height adjustable. Some of the specs say that the footrest goes closer to the seat than I think it really does because of the two transportation brackets. Transportation brackets are standard on the Pixie stroller, but when you slide this up, watch out, you only have about 14 inches of seat to foot rest length. So might not be ideal for shorter users or you have to put in a um, foot block to accommodate that. The stroller we have today has the lower basket on it, which is an option and that's removable. This stroller also has the chest vest, which is always used in conjunction with the standard seat belt. Chest vest unbuckles for transfers in and out. Zip up the chest vest, apply the buckle. This is the new headrest, which is a curved foam piece with their mesh foam. This is the canopy that comes on the Pixie. Folds all the way forward for a lot of shading. Has a little peekaboo window has a little parent-friendly zipper pouch up here. We have the crossbar, the, the grab bar on this unit. Unit cannot fold with that in place. So to remove it, flip up the two brackets, pull up and out. Another option we have on this unit is the adductor pad. The adductor pad actually locks in to a receiver underneath. So it is quick release. One thing on this unit though, we notice that when the quick release is in place, you cannot pull this. So on our website, I show a photo of that. I recommend when this unit's delivered, to, you're gonna have to nibble out a little piece of the plastic to allow this to be quick release. Otherwise, this is always going to be in place. This is the pelvic harness available as an option. The pelvic harness is really two panels that the child sits on in the rear. The back of these panels attach to the crossbar underneath the seat. The child sits on the panel and individual straps wrap on the inside of their thighs, attached to a buckle, and then tighten back to the corner. So each of these straps has their individual attachment and ability to tighten. This really keeps the child from sliding forward in the seat. The Pixie stroller folds in the forward direction and to do that, you flip up the handle on the side. On the left hand side is a trigger on the right hand side of the trigger, so we'll pull up on both these triggers, and it's a forward fold. We've released the back handle, and we're going to push the whole stroller forward, and it's going to collapse on itself. I'm doing it in slow motion, where this unit can then be picked up. To open up the stroller again, place it on its back, simply lift up, clicks into place. 